By 1230 Sunday afternoon, the Lansing chapter of Sleep in Heavenly Peace had built nearly 45 twin-size beds for children in need. The overall goal was 160 beds, 120 for children in Lansing, and another 40 headed to Detroit by the end of the day. The nonprofit's Western Wayne County chapter was helping out with the build. President of the Lansing chapter, Jared Olson, said the bed building process typically starts slow, but then begins to ramp up. Hour ago, we think we only had like five beds done. And so, yeah, and we're, we're cooking probably about 45 to 50 beds an hour right now. He said he and his team will be there until all the beds are made, into the evening if need be. All the beds will be delivered to the children today, along with mattresses, sheets, pillows, and comforters. The nonprofit broke its own record for the number of volunteers building at an event and was on pace to break its own record for beds built in a day. This is more beds than we built in the entire 2019 and 2020 together. So, yeah, it, in one build, we're knocking out our record. <laughs> and our goal for this year, going into this year, was 150. We delivered uh, 28 prior to today and 120 today. We're halfway. We, we have to up our goal at this point. It's only March, so, yeah, we've got several more builds planned for the rest of the year. Sherry Hines, the volunteer coordinator for the Lansing chapter of Sleep in Heavenly Peace, said they had nearly 180 volunteers for this build, well over the previous record of 70. Hines was a volunteer herself last September, but decided she wanted to be more involved. We're always in search of people who are interested. You don't have to be handy or crafty or anything. You just have to come and learn. Um, we're always looking for sponsors, uh, for people who want to do a build maybe for their organization. And we're always looking for people who need to get in their application to obtain a bed also, because these are 100% free of charge to the recipient. Huge thanks to our sponsors, all of our volunteers. Um, without it, we wouldn't be able to do this. I mean, this is uh, thousands and thousands of dollars that folks have donated themselves, come and help build. You know, Lowe's has donated us uh, lumber and tools and just there's several other ones that have pitched in, but we wouldn't be able to do this and we wouldn't be putting 120 kids into our own beds tonight without them. Hines said they're looking for another 160 volunteers for their next build, which will be the Bunks Across America build on June 12th. We were just awarded another grant from Lowe's, so we'll probably double what we normally do. Instead of 40, we'll probably do 80, but no, who knows? We might. That's what we planned this one for. We were going to do 40, and we ended up with 120, so who knows? <laughs> if you would like to donate, volunteer, learn more, or apply for a bed, go to fox47news.com. Reporting from your neighborhood in Delta Township, Lauren Shields.